Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The onion. Nice. Mm -hmm. Bottom sheet. So I kind of wanted to put my hair in it. As my lady says, kick out. The very things. Basically. You talk about a subject that will get you going, or that gets you excited, or happy. You just can talk about it all the more. And just want to do things that I can't really get out of my head at the moment. Just the way I am. I have a green screen, I always have. Even if I were to wash my face right now, it will still end up getting oily within a couple of hours, probably. <laughs> so I'm just using these old bottom sheets to reduce the shine. I mean, like horror movies have like an interesting bond. Like I like watching some, but at the same time, I don't care for like blood and gore. I get really squeamish. And I've seen like all the scream movies. Whenever there was like a really part, like a really gory, bloody part that I know is gonna come up, I usually will do it. <laughs> but I'm in for it just because. The suspense and the tension and the mystery and like wondering about the whole thing like who the hell is the killer? So maybe around last year or so they made Scream the T V series on M T V and I was hooked on it. I watched I Candy originally. That was canceled after one season. That was just dumb. And that was a really good show. And so Scream comes along, and I've been watching Scream since it started. And it just got to a second season, so there's like two episodes now. The second episode just aired a few hours ago. So that's why I'm making this, because. It's such a catchy like, show, and it's so addictive. Like, maybe some people won't care for the show, or if they love the movies, and some people are like that, but to me, I think the show is, like, really well thought out, and it has you going, it has you guessing. Like, I love the show, and every time I want to guess who the killer could be, but I can't pinpoint one, because... Some of the other characters have died, and then even just in the first episode of the second season, someone died. I'm not going to tell, because if you haven't seen it, I'm going to give you away. So, sorry, I keep like dabbing. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I don't know if you would expect the killer to be. I don't really want to give anything away. I just can't really guess as to who it would be. Like, at first I thought, like, maybe it's Noah, because, like, he knows so much about, like, the serial killers and everything like that. Like, he's, like, a really knowledgeable person. But, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like if he were to end up being the guy, it would be shocking. I'd be like, no, they make it too obvious that it's and then, like, the whole thing centers around Emma, and Emma? I keep, like, in my head, I thought maybe it's Kira. And now there's, like, this cousin is now in the show, and now there's a girl Zoe that's in the show that I don't really know her yet. I can't get an idea of how she is yet. And then Sheriff's son, I just know he, like, comes off as extremely creepy, so I feel like he could be a possible suspect. 
Audrey, if you watch the second season, I'm already going to give a spoiler, like, they make her really, 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 really suspicious and guilty, like, she's done shit, she has done shit, there's no denying it, I just don't know how bad she really is. And Karen's cousin also comes into that creepy kind of vibe. Because he's not even in the school yet. But he really already knew Emma's name. He wants to enroll. And now he's living with Karen. So that's a bit of a spoiler. But I have no idea who to guess the killer could be. I feel like more has to happen for me to really get a feel for what's happening. Like for me to make more predictions and more theories. Uh, I know that Audrey is the only one, but there's someone that's like trying to get on her nerves and is like trying to like expose her, I guess, maybe. But like, they're just having fun to her. But, so I don't know if I can expect that she's gonna die or if she'll kill them. I don't know what to expect from her. But it's one of those things that I can't help to think about it. And, can't help but geek out like that. So it's probably gonna watch the other video. So yes, I'm making a video. Not doing it. You know what? Let's do it. Maybe I'll put on a little bit of or something. Do it over here because I don't know what I do. So. My main thing in making this video is I would just like to see who all has what kind of theories and who all is like a big fan screen. And then you can see this. <laughs> I at least just want to play it with it. Should I just say, not click? I do these for that. That's why some guys on here really like it. Like Rippy Dylan, he said a while back that he just wears makeup and like powder and stuff so like he doesn't look so blurry on camera. And I understand why. This isn't even professional. It's just like. I think my friend will be a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. I can't. I could go with one. Much away. So I'm probably gonna put a spoiler alert because I want to be a little fan. Yeah, you know what? Okay. okay, we're gonna go to town. Okay, so my thoughts on the show, my thoughts on the characters. Will I never really liked. I just didn't really get good vibes from him. At times it seemed like he was trying to be a good guy, but then it's like, but I know you're phony. <laughs> And Jake, I just felt like, well, it's kind of obvious he was like a fuck boy. But he, I feel like he was starting to change his ways in this season, which is why I kind of felt bad that he died. Yes, sorry. Spoiler. You see the first episode of the second season, you'll see that he does not make it. And I kept seeing comments all over the place saying, Jake, like, bring Jake back. Like, Jake isn't dead. Like, how is he not dead? I mean, he got slashed with Psyche, I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he's done. If you see the second episode of the second season, you'll see that he's done. 
for sure. Like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. So. Audrey, I, like, I really had good vibes about her. Like, I didn't really see anything fishy, and I thought she was cool. I thought she was badass. Like, okay, cool. But then, around the end, it's the last episode of the first season. They, it's like at the very end, like the last like minute or two, they show her burning letters and stuff. I'm like, what is she doing? What is she hiding? I'm like, oh shit. And then, just in these past couple episodes, she's definitely been showing that she is guilty and that she has done shit and the other person that's anonymous, another killer that's anonymous, is make it clear that she is not a good guy. She might come off as a good guy, but overall at the moment she isn't classified to me as a good guy. Because she's obviously done some shit wrong. And like, I feel like Noah already has kind of begun to found her, like, I don't know if he necessarily knows it's her now, but he's getting at least a hint that it could be. I guess it says in the podcast, like, he's, like, he found something out that he may not like, or something like that. Something along those lines, I can't remember exactly. So. But. Yeah. I feel like he is a really smart guy, and he's gonna figure out who it is if he hasn't already. And he has been wanting to know who his Piper accomplice is. And Audrey is the accomplice. They already make it clear in the show that she was his accomplice. And she had notes all around of the person that the killer put in the bathroom stall. So we already know she's the accomplice. And Noah's just like desperately trying to figure out who his accomplice was. And it narrowed down to definitely being a female. And he was beginning to figure that it could be Audrey because, like, she's been acting super flaky. She isn't going to, like, the place that she wanted him to meet her at. And it's just all of her actions are just super, super fishy. So he's starting to figure, like, oh shit, what well, my best friend is, like, Piper's accomplice. Or at least that's what I would think he's thinking. So now I'm kind of torn because I'm like, shit, I really thought she was like going to be like a goody character that like seemed badass, but she has blood on her hands, honey. She has blood on her hands! Like, what do you mean? She's not innocent. <laughs> and now it makes me think of, okay, her girlfriend died in the first season, right? And they made it seem as if the killer was like using Audrey's voice and it was like a fucked up thing because the person was like oh hey babe we're at our spot blah 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 come outside and then she's like Audrey what are you like I don't know who you are and then she finds a rope and she's like really in the rope but then the killer comes behind her strangles her and has her hanging there but then moves the body to the van inside her room to make it look like a suicide so I'm thinking back on that, I'm like, okay, so if the person sounded like Audrey, right, but now if Audrey was Piper's accomplice, was Audrey the one that really killed Rachel? Maybe it wasn't Piper, maybe it wasn't the other person, whoever it is, but maybe it was Audrey, because Audrey wouldn't have to mask her voice if it was really her. So that's just like my little theory, like, I don't know. Like, she acted as if she was mourning over her girlfriend, but if she's literally psycho, that's easy to do. But I don't know if she killed her girlfriend or not. I don't know if that was Piper or somebody else or her, but that's my theory. That's my thing. It's like, huh, I don't know. Because whoever is really the main killer at this point has to be psycho, obviously. And that means they could put on a good show, trick people into believing them, being a good manipulator, 
So really, you never know. That's why they put in the captions to trust nobody. So, yeah, I don't know. If anyone's a screen fan, leave some comments. And we can discuss about it. See you guys later.